Well, now that the motor is uh, running and running good, I decided to uh, start with the next part of this project, which is of course the interior and the body. And uh, in doing so, I discovered that at some point in the past, this car has had this whole quarter replaced. You can see here where they've welded it in place on top, and then follow it down where they had the channel in there. See? And uh, then they welded it across, and this whole piece here is new. You can see the seam there all the way around. And here's the thing. They didn't even bother welding these pieces of metal together or attaching them. They literally had puttied this full of putty, all these holes. And if you look, you see the hole back there? Yeah, that's because of the putty. It attracts water. It was brilliant. <laughs> so anyway, I'll follow along the seam here. And they did the same back here. It's really hard to see back there, but <coughs> these big chunks, that was in the hole that I can't show you because it's too dark. I mean, that is ridiculous. So, fortunately, I can fix that. It's going to take a little bit of welding and maybe a little bit of fabrication, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Next thing they did, instead of simply cutting this piece of sheet metal off here and here, and just replacing this with a whole new piece of uh, nice, flat, clean sheet metal, they filled it full of putty and body filler. And when I say filled it, I mean it was a good quarter inch thick. I have not seen that before. So, crazy. Well, what did that cause? More rust. Body filler causes rust. I'm telling people don't use this stuff. So, I'm going to have to cut all that out and replace that too. Back on the inside of the car, you can see the seam that they welded here, um, and they didn't even bother grinding it. Again, they just filled it full of putty. I've uh, been spending the last couple hours just with a grinder grinding the putty off um, just to see what the deal is. And they didn't even fully weld it. They just spot, did some spot welds. You see, a few spots, and then fill it full of putty, and you know who cares if the water gets in there. This is why you can't trust taking your car to anybody. And uh, you should just learn to fix it yourself because this is what businesses do. Now, I don't know for sure, but here's the funny thing. In cleaning that out, inside there was this. And this was stuck on the wall, you see it? Of the replacement part. Now I'm wondering, I'm going to go look it up, but I'm thinking that that part number is the quarter panel. And that the dealership did this replacement. And if that's the case, that would be really, really disappointing. Because this car uh, spent its whole life in Huntsville, Alabama. Wow. Yeah, and that survived this, well, since the repair, I guess, up inside that light. But, okay. Anyway, other than that, the channel looks fairly good. I mean, it's got some surface rust starting in here. Um, I've already hit it with some uh, phosphoric acid. That's why it's black. Um, coming down the channel a little, little bit. There's a little pinhole right here. I'm going to have to cut that out and re-weld it. Uh, same with another one down here. Um, these aren't bad. This, this whole bottom lip... Um, I don't know, I'm debating. It's It's got lots of metal left on it, um, but it's fully covered in surface rust, as you can see. It's pretty good. It's pretty rusty. I may just cut this whole piece out and put new metal in there. Uh, this is a car I plan on keeping forever, so I want to do it right. Um, other than that, we will continue on, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.